Hello everybody. Welcome back to How to Build a B-1 Bomber. Look what I did yesterday. I laid up a carbon piece for my tail unit. And uh, I don't know what you guys are thinking. Well, how come you didn't make a movie? To tell you the truth, folks, I wanted to kind of get a handle on this. And uh, Dad came over yesterday and we laid this up. And it took a long time, you know, and it just uh, would have made a long, boring movie. And I kind of wanted to get the handle before I did that one and showed you all how to do it. Because uh, I'm going to be honest with you, I haven't did a lot of vacuum bagging. And, uh, man, I tell you what, that's a lot of work. You know? And, uh, no, Butch tells me it gets easier. So <laughs> I don't believe him a bit. But uh, I think I got it figured out pretty much. But I'll tell you what I'm going to do today is I'm going to get all my carbon painted on here. And then that is two layers of carbon and a layer of fiberglass. And man, I tell you what, that's going to be one sturdy tail section. And uh, yes, uh, we did allow for our uh, carbon here, our skins. When I test fit that bulkhead the other day, remember I took that razor blade and I slid under there and there's, it was just like about a sixteenth of an inch gap everywhere and it, it'll just, and I test fit it again last night and it's just perfect with that skin on there. I mean, it is a perfect fit and uh, it's, it's ready to go. But I wanted to go over a couple other things. I got a good idea for my elevator. We had a issue with what was going to hold this elevator on you know because it was it's just on a shaft and uh, also how was I going to get inside to, to do that linkage inside of here you know when it's in the fuselage and I, I think I could have did it in there because I was planning on kind of just putting a ball link on uh, that lip first and you know I don't think that arm was just long enough. You know, them short arms tend to have more slop, and I kind of just think it needed a little arm. So this is just kind of a mock-up I did out of wood. And I think if I make that piece at a quarter-inch aluminum, and then, like, JB weld it on there and put a couple screws through the top of this, and then uh, slide it on, and then make me a trench right there. Just make me a slit in that carbon wall. And it won't weaken nothing. Then I could put the elevator on. And then slide it back in place. And that will hold it with just that slot being there. That will actually hold the elevator on. And then I test fit this last night. And I put both them pieces in there. And I can stick my hand way up in here real easy. And... Um, put my ball links on because I want to use like I found some big steel ball links at the big tool store I didn't buy them yet but they got like a 1032 hole in them I mean pretty good size hole in the ball part and I mean they're they're a hunk of steel and I don't really want to drill and tap to uh, carbon fiber I'd rather drill and tap to aluminum and I can put my hand in there and then lock tight them screws in and put a nut behind them and uh Man, that dude will not go nowhere. And uh, once the servo's on there, it won't let it get all the way down into this slot because that's way more throw than we need. And uh, that'll hold the elevator on. And it'll make uh, give me a longer arm and make it a little bit easier to hook up. That's three pluses from changing one deal. <laughs> But I think that'll work. Uh, let me know what you think of that, Butch. And uh, let's see what else we got. Oh, here's one of my hatches, or for my recessed hatch. This is that piece I had laid up here the other day. And these panel lines don't need to don't show up very good. So I used two layers of that that uh, white, or two coats of that white epoxy, you know, and. Uh, so I get away from the pinholes and having to prime it and go through all that work. Just when it was uh, just started to tack up and got real gummy, I put me another coat on there. Then I just wet sanded it. Start with 220, then some 600, 
and then some thousand grit and it came out it's it's pretty smooth and there ain't no pinholes and I just put some double face tape on the back and I'll put it right there where it goes oh it goes right there and bam there's my uh uh, recessed hatch for my where I'm going to put the elevators see I went as far as I could there's actually two panel lines there but in case I have stick, had to stick both my arms inside there you know to hook up them elevator servos you know and get up in there with the flashlight and the wrench and uh, just figured the bigger the better it'll be a nice hatch nice fit when it's painted you won't hardly ever see it because I did it on the panel lines but that's where I'm at. So I'm going to make a couple more movies today and kind of fill you guys in. And But we don't want to make no long 20 minute movie of me just putting that cloth on there. Unless y'all just like to see me putting cloth on there. Plus them long movies take a long time to download. So I figure I'll, I'll make a series of shorter movies and uh, show you guys my progress and Sandy will be uh, more happy with me because she don't like doing them long movies that ties her pooter up all day and <laughs> so we'll make a little series of shorter ones and uh, show you guys my pros my progress we might not have one on wheels friday but it's going to happen so till a little later on today uh we will see you in the shop still here what are you waiting on <laughs> See you guys later.